welcome to another one of our videos. Today I'm going to be doing a quick one on the W221S class, and that is replacing the cabin filter. So the 221 cars take MON part number CUK2722-2. The filter is located under the passenger side of the dash. So I'm going to go ahead and take you over to the car, show you what you need to do to start taking off some of the panels that uh, block access to the filter, and show you how to replace that once we get access to it. All right, I'm here under the passenger side of the dashboard and I have the panel right here a little bit loose. I apologize for how dark it is. Um, but right there on the left-hand side, you have one screw that holds that panel on. I have it just hanging out there, just barely threaded in place. You can see the light right there that lights up the footwell. And then the other screw is right here on the right-hand side. Once you get those two screws out, you should just be able to pull this panel down pretty easily. It has a couple clips and snaps and things, but uh, using some pressure, you should be able to pull it down. So once I have mine down and a little bit out of the way, I'll show you where you're going next. Alrighty, so we are back after my flashlight died. So we should be good to go from here on out. Um, so after moving the latches alone, this won't come down. You have two screws to move as well. Now, from what I read online, um, that's not true of all S classes from what I understand. Maybe a facelift thing, I'm not sure. But the screws, if you have them, are right here where that little loop is. And I can see that you can't see that very well because the light bulb hanging in the way. Where that little circular portion of the uh, cover is. And then the other screw is right up in here. So in that cavity right there, right behind my finger. So not this front one, but the next one in. Those are Torx T20 screws, and what I did was just use a uh, bit in a socket to get them out. They weren't tight enough that I needed a ratchet or anything, I was able to get those out by hand. So, now that, that uh, those screws are out, this is free to drop down, and the cabin filter can come out from there. So I'm going to go ahead and wiggle that out um, off camera, because I need to get the camera out of the way to actually uh, slide the cover that I have the camera kind of rested on, um, where I need it to go, and to pull the filter out but I will come back once that is done and once I'm ready to install the new filter. All right, so I have the new filters in. A couple points I want to mention on these. Number one, after opening the box with the new filters in it, there's some pretty decent instructions in there. I believe I was right about the screws. They apply to the later Model S classes only, and earlier models um, have no screws, and you can just move the latches. Um, also, it looks like earlier models have three screws that hold the, the panel that covers this entire lower dash area. Um, later model ones have two screws and they have a couple clips in the middle. So another difference between the, the later models and earlier model uh, W221s. Now, when it comes to installing the filters, a couple things I want to mention. Um, first of all, I installed the rear filter first, the front filter second. Um, when installing the rear, fil rear filter, you have to make sure before you slide it like all the way up and in, you can't put it up in here and then just kind of push it back. Uh, what I found is that I had to get it all the way back where it's aligned flush with the sidewall there, sidewall here, and then shove it up from there. Front one, same thing. Have to shove it up from underneath. Um, you can't just slide it in, kind of pull it towards you. So it slides into some slots in there. You can see whenever I try to move it, it only can wiggle a certain amount, and it's kind of held taut in place there, which is perfect. So, now that these are installed, we just need to install the undercover. That has tabs that tuck in here along the back side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Reassemble everything and let you know my final thoughts. Alrighty, so final thoughts on the cabin filter replacement. Not the worst thing in the world, but certainly one of the more difficult ones that I've done. You can see I've got the lower panel back into place. This portion kind of tucks a little bit behind the uh, the carpet. You can see the floor mat and then the, the carpet right here, the floor panel. So that's tucked back in place. There's two clips underneath here. One right about there where my light is, one right about there where my light is. Those guys uh, snap in or slide in to some hangers up above, on above the panel. And then on the later model cars at least, there's two clips up here that clip into this uh, hard plastic lower dash panel there. So once you've gotten those guys, you put your screw back there, put your screw back there, and you're done. So there's a little bit uh, better quality videos on YouTube, a little bit better lit, um, to show you how to do W221 cabin filters. But none of the ones that I found show you on the later model cars, or at least ones like mine that have the uh, screws holding in the, the cabin filter uh, panel. So just want to show you guys that. At least hopefully you gain, gain that out of this video. 
So with that, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you in the next one, and I hope you enjoyed. Take care.